Hi everyone, I've been lately working in an outpatient clinic with pediatrics and I have come across, you know, a uh, few patients, well I should say children, who have different types of conditions. I've actually crossed one recently where the mother was super nervous and stressed out in regards to the child having um, seizures and they're like happening randomly at random times when he's just sitting or reading or doing something I thought that this video would be helpful because the mother has brought it up many times and I feel like it's not only a video that's teaching parents but it's also a video that can help therapists in the outpatient clinic or other facilities help patients or children with seizures um, not have choking hazards or other problems in regards to uh, proper care when it comes to you know someone having seizure it's quite important to know what to do during the protocol and I will show in the video what steps to take. It's important, especially if you're working with a patient who has seizures. Um, in this case, I'm just using it overall. I'm not saying different specific seizures that may occur. Um, in the case of a nursing home and hospital setting, you always need to make sure that you gently try to safely position a client on their side by making sure they're laying on their side lying position. Um, make sure that the client does not have anything in the mouth or you do not put anything in the mouth because let's say for instance if you do place your fingers in the patient's mouth or the client's mouth then there's a big possibility you can lose your fingers also do not restrict the movements just make sure you turn the patient on one side and do not restrict any movements but you are supposed to cover their mouth by placing your hand under the jaw and holding their head up just to make sure they don't bite their tongue. Foaming and drooling may occur. Make sure to turn the client on their side to avoid choking again. That is something I thought that would be helpful for you in a case of you know, you're know studying for your boards or just in general needing to know this for your setting, You know, especially if you're stuck not knowing what to do. You're like, okay, I know for sure that I need to turn my client to the side, make sure that there, there is nothing in the mouth and do not place anything in the mouth because if you do, then there's a big chance that this client may bite or make someone lose their fingers and um, not to restrict the client as well as turn the patient on their side, which I mentioned earlier, to avoid any choking. As a clinician, it's very important to know things to do during a seizure I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you really like this video, give it a thumbs up as well, you know, share, follow, and maybe post it on different social media sites. It will be helpful for other um, clinicians and parents to learn from this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.